Hello, my name is Rebecca Kim and I am currently a Chief Medical Resident at the University of California in San Diego. I am excited and honored to be presenting the systematic review and meta-analysis I co-authored entitled Statin Use and Risk of Cirrhosis and Related Complications in Patients with Chronic Liver Disease. I found this topic to be particularly interesting as an internist as well as a future gastroenterologist. In the recent past, patients prescribed statins were monitored closely for potential hepatotoxicity, and patients with underlying liver disease were advised to avoid statins. More recently, studies have shown that statins are unlikely to be harmful in the setting of chronic liver disease, and instead, statins may even be beneficial. A prior systematic review from our group demonstrated that statin use may be associated with 41% lower risk of hepatocellular carcinoma. In vitro and animal model studies have shown, the stat have shown that statins decrease oxidative stress and inflammation. They also restore function of endothelial cells. And more pertinent to this topic is that statins may have a favorable impact on hepatic inflammation, fibrosis, and hepatic vascular tone. To gain a better understanding of the potential effects of statins on patients with chronic liver disease and related complications, and critically appraise quality of the evidence, our group conducted this systematic review. Through a systematic literature search up to March 2017, we identified 13 studies that were conducted in adults with chronic liver diseases, which could be due to any cause, with a baseline degree of chronic liver disease reported. Studies also evaluated and clearly defined exposure to statins, reported the association between statin exposure and cirrhosis-related complications cirrhosis-related outcomes, and the studies also included an acceptable measure of association such as hazard ratio, relative risk, and odds ratios. The outcomes we were specifically looking for included progression of fibrosis or the development of cirrhosis in patients with baseline non-cirrhotic liver disease, also development of decompensated cirrhosis in those with compensated cirrhosis at baseline, we also looked at all-cause mortality in patients with any degree of chronic liver disease. And lastly, a subset of patients with compensated cirrhosis and progression of portal hypertension or variceal bleeding. We excluded case control and cross-sectional studies, studies focused on association of statin exposure and hepatos hepatocellular carcinoma risk, as well as studies with insufficient information provided to calculate measure of association. We initially identified 1,706 unique articles, and after applying our inclusion and exclusion criteria, we included 13 studies, 3 randomized controlled trials, and 10 cohort studies in our systematic review. Six studies included individuals with non cirrhotic chronic liver disease. Six studies included participate participants with compensated cirrhosis, and three studies included individuals with decompensated cirrhosis. Regarding the etiology of liver disease, four cohort studies looked specifically at individuals with chronic liver disease secondary to hepat hepatitis C mono-infection, while other cohort studies included individuals with liver disease in the setting of hepatitis C and HIV co-infection. Two studies were conducted in patients with hepatitis B, one study was with patients with alcoholic liver disease, and one study reported outcomes stratified in patients with hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and alcoholic liver disease. The three randomized controlled trials were conducted primarily to evaluate the efficacy of statins in patients with portal hypertension. In the 13 studies, a total of 121,580 patients were included. 46% of which were exposed to statins. The individuals with statin exposure were more likely to have metabolic syndrome and diabetes, as well as exposure to metformin, aspirin, and ACE inhibitors. The full details of the studies and the characteristics of the patients are included in our manuscript. Five studies reported risk of development of cirrhosis or progression of fibrosis in patients with baseline non cirrhotic chronic liver disease. On random effects meta-analysis, risk development of cirrhosis or fibrosis progression was 58% lower in patients exposed to stents, however with considerable heterogeneity and low quality evidence. Four studies reported on risk of progression to decompensated cirrhosis from compensated cirrhosis or non cirrhotic liver disease. Statin use was associated with a 46% lower risk of progression with minimal heterogeneity. 
Six studies reported on risk of mortality in patients with chronic liver disease, including cirrhotic and non cirrhotic disease. On meta-analysis, statin use was associated with a 39% lower risk of mortality with considerable heterogeneity. When restricting analysis to only cirrhotic patients, a similar protective association was observed with minimal heterogeneity, and confidence of these estimates was moderate. Four studies reported on the risk of re-bleeding or clinically significant improvement in portal hypertension in patients with baseline cirrhosis. On meta-analysis of the three randomized controlled trials, statin use was associated with a 27% lower risk of re-bleeding with minimal heterogeneity. The results of our systematic review and meta-analysis suggest that statins may potentially improve patient-relevant outcomes in patients with chronic liver disease and improve survival without significant additional costs. Large, pragmatic, randomized controlled trials in patients with compensated cirrhosis are required to confirm these observations. Thanks so much for watching.